So the app which we are creating today is Emoji Builder. So this app will create emojis. So these are the available options. So we can choose first the color and then we can choose the mouth and then eyes. So well I want this color. Then I want mouth this. Then I want the eyes to be as closed. When I click here, I can see that my image is created. But I want to do more modifications in it. So I'm going to keep it as open eyes but not closed ones. Now when I go here, so I can see that this emoji, but I want this one. When I go, so we can see emoji has been changed. And when I change the color, and when I go, I can see the emoji is changed. But when I do both of the open eyes as well as closed eyes, then what will happen? It will show like this. Okay, so when I click here and I do this one and both, then what's gonna happen? It's showing. So it will be like this. Fine. So this is all which we are creating today. This is the kind of application we are going to create today. So are you all excited to create this kind of fun app? So we go to code.org and create a new app lab project. So these are the images which we will require for building our app. So I want you all to download these images from the description. There is one link given for these assets. You all have to download these images before we can proceed ahead. Now actually for the designing of the screen, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to import the screen. So what I'm going to do is import the screen. You also have to import the screen and in the description I'm going to provide you with a link. With a link, then you have to click on and click on other assets. Also, so that you get the assets as well as you get the screens. So you will get the screens also and the assets also. So I want all of you to import the screen and I am going to provide this in the description. Right? So I hope you all have the screen when you can just simply delete it. Okay, and we have done with our importing of screen. This is just Design section. Now we are going to learn to code this project. Now what we want is when this radio yellow this ID is clicked, then what's going to happen? Then it is going to show this element which is button create. So on event when on event when radio yellow is clicked. Then it is going to show an element which is button create. I hope you have written this much of code. I am zooming you for your comfortable of screen. Then what are we doing next? Now save. See. Now we will just copy this. And we are going to paste it once more. And now we are going to do the same for radio red. Fine. I hope all this is clear to you. Then what next are we going to do is we are going to now what are we doing next is when this button create is clicked when we have the long segment when button create is clicked which button button When button create is click, then we are going to have a fill statement. But it's going to force set set screen number two, which is none other than screen emoji. Fine, screen emoji.
green emoji. But then they are adding if the statements. Now what I'm doing is as you can see that we have added this. Now we are adding if statement. What are we adding? If statement. That suppose if the property which we get is checked. If this radio yellow property is checked, then the image URL here would be as this. And we have already uploaded the images. No, I mean, yeah, yeah, we have uploaded the images already because we have imported them. Isn't it? Then what you can do is if you want to design the screen on your own, then what you can do is click here, import screen. Then in here you can put the link of the application. Then you can just paste it. Then click on it. And you can just click here on other assets and import this. Just you can import the assets. So then what next? We are going to add more such if statements. Now we are putting wait. Now if it's radio red then it's going to come like this. So then it's going to come like this. Now if So I hope you are getting what I am doing. But I think you are not following because here we have to put hidden that that is correct. Fine, correct. It will hide the element. Now we are putting that if the get property of radio star is checked. Then it is going to show an element which is made that or else it will hide it. Then we are putting that if the get property of checkbox open is checked plus or checkbox closed, then it's going to show image open closed. Now what are we putting? So what are we doing? We are doing that if the get property of checkbox open is checked left, checkbox closed is checked, and then one more if statement, you can take a snip here. Then it's going to show the element which is image open. And if this button back is list, then it's going to show the number one. So with this, we have built our emoji builder application. So we have successfully created. Our emoji builder application.